going on everybody it's adam welcome back to wednesday in the workshop hey today we're going to talk about um how to powder paint a chatterbait blade um it may sound easy but if you've ever tried it you know the pain this is a chatterbait blade now this one's got uh, the two extra holes in it the bubbler holes but well, all of them have the top hole and then these two the top is where you would connect um split ring or whatever to the eye or if uh, if you're z-man you would connect that directly to the head um, and then the other two are where the uh, usually it's like a number two um, duo snap goes through and that connects your line that's what you tie to uh, the bubbles the bubbler holes are optional when you powder paint these oftentimes at least in my experience it's very difficult to keep the paint out of those holes, especially this top one. The middle two, not that big a deal. There's plenty of room to get the, the snap through. But this bottom one, if you've got too much paint in that, it is a bear. So I have devised a, um, a quick little trick with a paper clip um, that I'm thinking might help you out. So um, basically you take a paper clip and you unfold it um you unfold it so that you've got the two loops on both ends and then you take the wider of the two loops and you bend it out and what you end up with is something that looks like that the key that i have found to getting this to paint right is to make sure that whatever you're holding it with as it dips down into the powder paint is not hot so i could put this and i have before i could put this on now slide it on here like that put it in front of the heat gun it blows in the heat gun you know but while that's happening this is heating up just as much as this so when you dip it into the paint you get paint yes on your on the blade which you want but you also get paint on here and especially it goops up inside of that hole so if you can hold the um the blade with a pair of pliers forceps or whatever put it in front of the heat and then holding it onto the, with the, with the pliers, slide this on cool right before you powder paint, dip it into the powder paint. Um, and then you're going to, as you pull it out of the powder paint, you want to start moving it almost instantaneously and just slide it down to the other end. The other end doesn't have any paint on it. So what you end up with is, um, a blade that is, well coated but it doesn't have any paint in the eye so i'm going to do that now um you'll watch uh put the i'll put the heat or put the blade to the heat and then i've got a close-up shot hopefully i can show you that transfer of the blade to here and then that slide at the very end so here we go all right we're gonna do this one in black Clip it into the forceps. Really like these instead of pliers because I can don't even have to put any weight or any pressure on them to hold. So trout fishing uh, forceps work great. Let's put it on the heat. All right, there we go. Transition that over. I'm trying to do it with the camera. It's a little difficult. There. Dip it, dip it. I put UV on mine. All right, so it's dip. Ready to go. Slide it down. And there it is. Nice and cool. I can hang it up. Really clean eye. Really nice, clean eye. See that? So I hope that was helpful. Helps you get those blades just right without gumming up that, um, that hole so you can get your split ring in there or however it is that you want to make it without any intrusion. So hopefully this tip helped out and I'll see you next Wednesday.